Yeah, what's good, everybody? RC Poetic Soul back in, back in this place, back on this uh, channel, back on this social media platform, YouTube. Hopefully, everybody will take a second and subscribe for me real fast. If you haven't, well, hit that thumbs up button. Um, I used to be okay, but now I'm not as okay with the battle. I'm speaking of battle of life. I used to be like, well, you know, it's, it's what you got to go through. But some battles you shouldn't have to go through. Some we put on ourselves because we are um, hard-headed, uh, too headstrong, uh, too over the top with what we feel is right or wrong. Um, I feel like I feel like I, I shouldn't I shouldn't have to necessarily battle everything, you know, um, because there's some things that I don't, that that aren't that relevant. Like I shouldn't have to, uh, you know, struggle with a lot of things that I, I shouldn't I shouldn't have to. Um, seems like I'm being a little vague, maybe, but you know, honestly, you know, you pick and choose your battles, as they say, you pick and choose them wisely. And I know that I've been through a lot and on that course, on that mission, I found myself in many unnecessary battles. So that could kind of lead to um, me having regrets, which we all have. But in a sense, you know, your battles make you who you are. They're a testament to who you are. And some people uh, uh, win that battle and others lose it. You know, you, we all have to overcome something. So. If you if you're going through something and you don't think you can overcome it, you know there's always a way. There's always a silver lining, you know, except for as it per pertains to this coronavirus um, situation, ordeal, um, tragic event happening that's going on right now. Um, that's something that's is really out of our control, um, except for the fact that we could stay in our houses. Those of us. Um, non-essential workers, which brings me to the fact that, uh, to me, not uh, non-essential, I mean, not, not non-essential, excuse me, sorry, essential workers, non-essential would mean irrelevant. Um, but they bring, that brings me to the point of saying that essential workers, to me, uh, feel like somebody who's um, reduced to a necessary loss. Um, because people are dying and, and they are essential workers. And what's even worse than that is that non-essential uh, business, businesses uh, request that uh, a lot of workers uh, still come in. And, you know, it's it's the worker versus the, the manager. Um, it's the worker versus the boss. And who do you, you know, the boss is going to win that battle, you know, 20 times out of 20. So, you know, it, it's just... It's just a very, very disturbing time right now in our world and our society. Um, I'm not going political um, with this, but you know, at some point you'd like to think that you know, um, not not black, not white, but just that all lives matter. Um, I myself um, get caught up in you know the whole racism bubble, um, looking at things like you know. Uh, you know, not being um, colorblind, looking at things one-sided, um, one color-sided, and for what? I mean, you have people who um, really push the pro-black pro, pro -black, um, agenda and, you know, to each his own, and definitely why would I not support my own? Um, but the, the biggest problem is that I see my own out here eating his own, and, you know, every race eats their own, unfortunately. But we just do it all the time, and it's just it's just tragically um, damaging. Damaging. It's mentally damaging to the brain. Um, you know, I've seen it happen. You know, it's, it's happened with Nipsey Hussle uh, on a broader stage. But you know, I've seen uh, people you know kill it on for, for much less, and it's it's just um, you know it's really troubling because um, we don't uplift, we take out, and. Um, you know, we do it more than anybody. You know, it seems like I'm just going through a bunch of different topics on this, on this, uh, on this vlog. But you know, it's okay. It's fine. You know, it's my channel. 
hopefully you guys um you know don't mind but today i feel so you know i feel so at this moment i feel just kind of distant from it all which ironically we all are supposed to be social distancing um i just sometimes feel like i'm, I'm just i'm just in it alone and um i feel like i've made uh, some steps but i feel like some of my battles are, are trying to overcome some of the steps that i've taken um, to be a better person and sometimes you know when you when you're down and, and when you're not exactly where you want to be you'll relapse you'll fall back you'll, you know you'll slip back into something you don't want to be in or you'll find yourself you know facing another issue you were ill prepared for and you know you, you're probably going to crash and hopefully you don't burn you know that's sometimes that's what happens so my only my only bit of advice that i really have for people at this time for anybody that needs advice or anybody that's watching this video and just saying like you know how do i deal you know and i would say don't get too consumed with the um with the news with the media um yes yes stay uh up to date on topics but don't consume yourself to the utmost you know with, with what's going on so with that being said you know remember life remember being grateful remember being thankful and um yeah just uh get back with me later uh, i mean i'll get back with you guys later and um check in on everybody i hope to do another vlog today but if not i'll catch you guys later so peace out